Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. And the wisdom that I have to share today is that stress is something. It, it's been incredible. So, as you know. So, anyway, one of the things that I'm here to share with you is how important, if you are somebody that is affected by stress like I am, that... Sugar is not the medication that is prescribed, right? And so you need to be very, very careful. If your life gets stressful, maybe it will with the holidays, I don't know. <clears throat> but for me, it's very important to have my kitchen, my food plan, my life in, in the sense of like my small detail-oriented environment to have it all straight as straight as it can be and tidy and, and just available, right? I learned that in the last few weeks that, <clears throat> that going without something or having a new change is something that's going to affect me and that I turn to, I can turn to, I would turn to the wrong foods if I was like totally spiraling out of control. And I'm only a bite away from the spiraling out of control because I've proved it over and over again with things in my life. And so I have to be very, very mindful and careful. My fridge at this moment is stocked with great keto, um, keto foods that I can have in a heartbeat. Yesterday I did a veggie and meat run. I went to BJ's Stop and Shop and Shaw's, and I got um, hot Italian sausage. I got pork bellies. I got the Johnsonville maple-flavored sausage bacon. I have plenty of Pete and Jerry jumbo eggs, so I'm all set there. The lettuce, um, the baby butter lettuce wasn't dated. It was dated two days before I was going to buy it at one of the stores. So I didn't get that, so I'm still down that, but I replenished my Baby Bella organic mushrooms, my sugar snap peas, my um, French green beans. Um, I have plenty of broccoli. I have plenty of cauliflower crumbles in my freezer and um, plenty of Kerrygold butter, which is on sale through, I think, um, at my store tomorrow or maybe maybe two days from now. So I have to make sure I have enough of that because you know it's going to be jacked up for the <laughs> holiday cooking, of course, because isn't everything these days. And so anyway, I'm happy to be feeling whole again. It, it, I, sh I prove to myself what a creature of habit I am and how I don't do well with, <laughs> with what I had for the last few weeks with no power and the computer and this and, and that and but I do have to give a big thumb, thumbs up to um, Best Buy they transferred everything and um, although my old computer has a has a non-fixable pro, uh, problem the new one is great I, I see it's a darker background behind me but it is what it is and believe me I'll take it so uh, what do I have planned for today well I have a baby butter lettuce with mushroom uh, salad planned with my um, beloved Bragg's um, dressing. And it's like 70 or 80 calories for two tablespoons and 30, 30 grams of that works just fine for me. And it's nice and it's filling and it takes a while to eat. I love baby butter lettuce by Olivia's. Um, this morning I had that new um, organic coffee from Lavazza that um, I showed you yesterday when I did my little quick video about what's been happening. And for dinner tonight, it's going to be the salad, <clears throat> two jumbo Pete and Jerry eggs, and it's going to be um, one pork belly, one hot Italian sausage, and one strip of the bacon. In a perfect world, I will put that on a bed of sautéed organic baby, um, baby, baby spinach, that I've put under the broiler for a second so it kind of like crisps up and dries out a little bit. 
and I'll put all of that onto that. Um, there's a part of me that wants to put a piece of cheese, but I think that's enough. Then I will have a good culture cottage cheese for either during the meal or immediately after, like as my dessert. I've come to rely on them. I'm falling out of favor with yogurts, so I like my good culture cottage cheese and all the different varieties, the 4%, the 6%, the 6% is out of this world. The strawberry chai one, but it has added sugar. So although it tastes great, why wouldn't it? Um, avoiding those extra sugars is, is a goal. And then good culture also has a hundred calorie cottage cheese in peach, um, blueberry, strawberry. Yeah, I think those three things. So I'm a happy camper and things are in place. The new computer is in place. We have plenty of electricity is back, caught up with the laundry, caught up with all the things that can go awry with a storm. And so I'm feeling quite well. I have to um, report for work in um, 45 minutes. So I need to get a move on, but I just wanted to do a Friday check-in. I wanna get back to the Monday and Friday. I don't know what happened to all those videos that I recorded with the slow, slow-mo computer. Just, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't how it is used to be. So um, I'm back. We'll do some more videos on some, um, you know, ideas, some uh, food finds as, um, as somebody from the Weight Watchers world used to call them. And we'll just have a, a grand old time. But I know that for me, stress and overtired and um, hungry are like the headless horsemen. Stress, hungry, angry, lonely, tired, and sick. Those are six of them that are headless horsemen in my life. But um, fortunately, I <laughs> three are the ones that get to me all the time. So I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new to this channel, it's just... We just do what we do. We do um, a food plan that works for us, finding the sweet spot, just tuning in and being accountable. I'm accountable to you, and a lot of you feel accountable to me, and so it's just worked. We've just done this for years, since the Weight Watchers days. So I'm glad you're here. I hope you had your little cuppa, and I will see you again on Monday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.